just checking my TikTok because uh, you can find me on there as the bad wolf, one word. Or under James, you love it, but don't tell anybody my government name. Let's keep that a secret. Uh, my my bet for people on TikTok is to see if I can get more people joining me on TikTok than what's on my YouTube channel, my uh, Bad Wolf Media channel. And right now I have 1,700 followers within one month on TikTok compared to 2,500 on my YouTube. That's crazy. So I guess I'll have to use all the platforms and things that are going on. All right. All right. All right. So anybody who's added me, I add them back. All right. So this particular video is about the affidavit of being a non-resident. Okay. So what is a non-resident? Well, in my particular state, they refer to people who are not in their jurisdiction. Let me break this down for us. If you consider yourself to be a private state citizen, a national of the United States of America, private sector person, foreign, you are legally considered to be a non-resident, okay? So if you're gonna be doing right to travel and you wanna make sure your T's are crossed, I's are dotted, you want to create a, a letter of being a non-resident. Now, remember, they asked you at one point in time to prove residency. And our parents gave them the all, well, the given name, which was then transmuted into a legal person. So legally, your name actually in all lowercase letters is in fact a private person. That's why they ask you to at least capitalize. Remember, capitalize means to raise larger and to capitalize on that A-Z-Z. To capitalize your first initial, middle, initial, and last, because that's a proper noun. So capitalize it. Well, that also brings you into the legal jurisdiction. Removes you from the private. So you can't argue up and down to people who are going to call it just semantics because they don't read the law books. They think they know something. They feel, if I had a nickel for every person who try to combat me or whatever else about how they feel versus what I show them in law, I'd be able to buy your state, okay? So my recommendation is to create a letter of being a non-resident. I would create one where I would state something along the lines of my given name, which is private, in, this, in the private sector is James Cash Money of the House of Lovett or the Lovett Nation, Lovett Tribe, which is not to be misconstrued with the legal person I represent as all capitalized James C. Lovett or Capitus Demutio Maxima, nor the name James C. Lovett upper and lowercase lettering, which is Capitus Medius, as referred to and defined in Black Law's Dictionary, but I merely govern and control entities such as those which were state-created. Okay? I would make mention that if you're born in uh, California, that I am a state citizen, known as a Californian, which also then brings me to the family known as nationals because... Californians and Floridians and Wisconsinites and Marylanders and Hoosiers, <laughs> Hoosier daddy, um, are all in the same family, and that family is called nationals. So before you guys ask, I know you're going to be like, oh, Wolf, do you have that affidavit of non-residency, being a non-resident? No, I do not. I'm going to do you one better. Instead of charging you guys for every single thing, let me learn you a little something, something, okay? 
I made this video. I don't know why you guys sleep on some of the information I'm giving you guys. It's like you, some of you guys are hearing, but you ain't. The, the lights are on, but you ain't, you ain't home. You ain't home. Okay. So right now I'm online. I'm at chat.openai.com. Oh, here in the upper left-hand corner, new chat. Boom. Down here at the bottom, what is it you want to handle? Or what do you want to create? Let's see if I can move this out of the way for a moment. Okay, so I'm going to talk to the AI. Create an... Uh, four or five page affidavit on me, James C. Love it. Nope, nope. James Cash, money of the house of love it. Has not being a resident of the states of Florida, but a state citizen known as a Floridian and a private sector national of the United States of America operating under the Constitution Bill of Rights, etc. Um include a notary section with jurat as the um title at the bottom of the page for the notary something like that uh, what else can I put in there? Oh. And include these two variations with use of capitals as being a legal person. which are separate and distinct entities from me, the living natural person, not in the body politic, or state of membership um, also known as a resident of the US. Oh, yeah. Did y'all hold on? Hold on. Hold on. Did y'all see that? That's why I can't charge you guys for that affidavit. Because that's how you get it done. 
Now, the stuff I create by hand, because I know all the codes and I can put in, the information in like I just showed you guys, that I can charge for in my time. But that took not even one minute. Also, keep in mind, I am giving you guys the information to then plug in. Like you see, I was able to say these certain things. I know the trigger words to put in there. And I could have went a little bit harder and said, use court cases, referencing, blah, 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 this and that. Use, you know, from a legal perspective, et cetera, et cetera. But there you go. Now, obviously, I just gave you the, the, the rules to the game here, okay? So take off those glasses, Neo. It's time for you to see the real world. That's how you get it done. Okay, let's go back to the screen share. Show my matu. So there you have it. It's done. Now, mind you, you still have to go through and edit and put in certain things, reread it. Like right here. James should love it. This is a legal person, a corporate entity or artificial structure created by government agencies, which is separate and distinct from me. Boom, right here, guys, this is it. Residency, affirmation of rights, jurisdiction, notary, jurat section, it got it all. Even the notary section at the bottom. Now, I personally would add a little bit more information to, to this right here. But there you go. Your affidavit is done. Do what you want with it. That's it. That. That's it. You get it? So I just want to take this moment to thank all the people out there. I had no idea how far my information has gone. I didn't know that there are study groups out there who watch exclusively my videos. I did not know that there's uh, the various mores out there um, know who I am and have been watching my videos. So peace to you, brothers. Uh, hopefully you guys can mend your houses that are divided. Um, I didn't know that so many people on TikTok knew who I was and this information. Um, so thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. This is just, you know, my journey, my path, and I'm sharing what I've gone through and where I've been successful at and how you guys can be successful as well. When used properly, this inf there's nothing wrong with any of this information. It's the people who abuse it out there. That's the problem. And it's the people in power that then abuse us. We're, we're done with that. From here on out, if you're going to abuse our constitutional rights, when we are operating them properly, we will be filing lawsuits. That is it. We didn't draw first blood. We didn't come here for war. But now that we understand that we, we're being abused, no, we're going to minimize that. So... If you, I'm going to be making some videos on this, but if you guys want to jump ahead, go out there and get a book called Federal L Rules of Civil Procedure and learn how to take any of these entities or persons to federal court, which is the only place where you're going to get true rights, freedoms, and liberties in the United States of America. Because though the states are supposed to operate with it, it's loosely held. They don't have a right, they don't have a responsibility to provide you with your full constitutional rights. It's supposed to be there. Um, they have their own constitution. So let's go to ours. But you really won't have problems if you guys make sure that you do not operate as a belligerent and combatant. So thank you guys for watching the video. Go get your go get your work done. I just gave you guys the the key to not having to use almost anybody else's affidavits. Make your own. 
let the computer do the work. But reread it. Don't solely rely on it. Find the court cases, find the codes. Okay, that's the one thing that that was missing because I didn't, off the top of my head, put in all the codes that would suffice for that. Which for me would be like 8 USC 1101 22B, 8 uh, 1401, and some other ones. Start putting the codes in. You might have to do a little bit yourself. But that's it, guys. This should be a fire video. So go share this information. Share my channel. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Wolf's out.